الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهدي الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا All praise are and is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him Seek for his assistance and forgiveness And we seek refuge with him from the evils of our souls And our misdeeds No one can mislead whosoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides And none can guide whosoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes to go astray وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله أرسله بين يدي ساعة بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون ثم أما بعد My respected brothers and sisters in Islam الحمد لله سبحانه وتعالى We are gathered today in the house of Allah to remember Allah on the day of Jum'ah and to thank Allah for the blessings and bounties he has bestowed upon us. And my reminder today is about the seasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us Muslims to worship him. Starting from the season and the month of Ramadan, the last 10 days of Ramadan, the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And in every week we have a, a Jum'ah, which is the Eid day. In every day we have selected moments for our prayers. Today I would like to remind my brothers and myself and my sisters about the importance and the virtues of the first 10 days of the Hijjah. These are blessed days. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them special value for us to use them as a season for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for making takbir, and realizing the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially in these 10 days. In the Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Fajr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرِ وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتْرِ وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَسْرِ هَلْ فِي ذَلِكَ قَسَمٌ لِذِ حِجْرِ That was a very strong oath by the dawn and the 10 nights. Dawn time. And the ten nights, what are the ten nights? The ten nights, all the Mufassirin have said these are the ten days of Dhil Hijjah. Swearing and making oath by the odd numbers and the even numbers. وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتْرِ وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَسْرِ And then the night when it departs. And it is not only the oath. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have put, and, and the next ayah is saying, هَلْ فِي ذَلِكَ قَسَمٌ لِذِ حِجْرِ after all this oath, with five respect, respected and valuable things in our life, the, create, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, had there been sufficient oath for someone who has got understanding, for us, for the people who can comprehend, comprehend is there enough oath? That was a very strong oath. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will only make oath by valuable things of his crea crea creation. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said مَا مِنْ أَيَّامُ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحْ فِيهِنْ أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى مِنْ عَشْرِ ذِي الْحِجَّةِ There are no days in the year that good deeds are more valuable in the eyes or in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the deeds that we make during the ten days of the hijjah. And if I go back to the surah, after that strong oath, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went on to tell us about the people of Ad, the people of Thamud, the people of Pharaoh, and then described two types of human beings. When the day of judgment comes, 
two types only. There is no third category. First one of them will say, يَا لَيْتَنِي قَدَّمْتُ لِحَيَاتِي I wish I have done something for my this life, the life after death. After death. يَا لَيْتَنِي قَدَّمْتُ لِحَيَاتِي And the other one, what is he going to say? The other one is given the black tidings, the good news, even before his death. When the, the malak, the angel, will come to him on the bed of death and tell him, Ya ayyatuha nafsul mutma'inna, irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyya, fadkhuli fi ibadi, wadkhuli jannati. O you who peaceful soul, Ya ayyatuha nafsul mutma'inna, irji'i, return back to your Lord, pleased and pleasing, radiyatan mardiyya. Fadkhuli fi ibadi, and enter into my servant, my good servant, my salihin servant. And enter my paradise. The objective and the hope for us all, inshallah, is to get into this nafs mutma'inna. And getting and being a part of this nafs mutma'inna, we have to look at these seasons and to harvest these seasons moment by moment, prayer by prayer, hour by hour, day by day. Ten days of the Hijjah will start in just about two weeks from today. So please let us prepare for those ten days and make the best out of them. Same as we make the best out of Ramadan, same as we make the best out of the valuable places and times. Those of us who are going to be making Hajj, that is the best work and the best deed. Those of us who are not able to make Hajj this year, we still have a lot we can do from here, from this village, from this town, from this mosque, from our houses. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said in the other hadith, these are the best 10 days of the year, so أكثروا فيهن Make plenty. أكثروا فيهن من ذكر الله. تكبير. لا إله إلا الله. تهليل. الله أكبر. تكبير. لا إله إلا الله. تهليل. الحمد لله. Praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, تكبير. تحميد. تهليل. And in these days, the form is الله أكبر. الله أكبر. لا إله إلا الله. الله أكبر. الله أكبر. ولله الحمد. As much as you can. And the takbir during the Eid days will start from, from, from Eid day. The first nine, nine days are days of takbir. But for Eid days, it will start from Eid day until the Asr of the fourth day, which is the third day of Tashriq. Yom Nahr, the first day of Nahr. And three days after, it's all continuing takbir. One more thing to do is prayer. The Prophet Sallallahu said, to Mu'adh ibn Jabal, Ya Mu'adh, alayka bi katharati sujood. Oh Mu'adh, perform as much sujood as you can. This is just for normal life. It doesn't have to be during the 10 days of the Hijjah. But if it is more valuable other, other, other than this 10 days of the Hijjah, it has more value during the 10 days of the Hijjah. And the Prophet said to Mu'adh, if you make a single prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will raise your rank in Jannah. One daraja. How big is the daraja in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We cannot imagine. Because what is Jannah? Jannah is مَا لَا عَيْنَ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنَ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرٍ In Jannah, there are things that none, no eye have seen. No ear have heard of. And things that have not even passed on the thinking or the heart of a human being. Imagine how good is a daraja. So more prostration, and the second act is fasting. Again, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you fast a day, one day, to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, this will, will put a distance of 70 years between you and hellfire. One day of fasting in a normal year day. How much reward are we going to get fasting during the first nine days of the Hijjah? Of course, we cannot fast the 10 day. Fasting the, the, these days is very valuable. Fasting the day of Arafah on its own, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I hope, and hoping here is, is, is confirmation that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will forgive the sins of two years by just us fasting the day of 
Arafa. Last year and the year to come. And imagine if we pass away during these two years and you, we met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all our sins for the last two years have been abolished and forgiven. What, is, what, what best other than this can we hope for? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to fast the nine days of, or at least at the minimum for those who can, for those who can afford the ninth day of the hijjah so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, make distances between us and uh, 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 hellfire. Of the acts that we can do during the 10 days of the hijjah, sadaqah. Sadaqah, starting from giving to, to poor people in cash or in kind or in whatever we can afford, going to giving them from the meat of our qurbani or providing them with meat for their qurbani, for their children, it's even when it comes to the meat or value in, uh, in kind, it's even better to give meat to a needy family rather than to give them money. Because the ulama said, if you give the money out, the, the landlord or the, the family, the household uh, responsible person, he might be like, for example, in debt, he need the money for anything, he might go and pay debts and leave the children with nothing to eat, with no enjoyment of it. But if we give them meat, then it is sure that the children, the family, the household, everybody is enjoying the Eid and feeling the blessing of Eid. One of the acts that are very valuable and important during the 10 days of the Hijjah is Yawm nahr the day of Eid itself, when the Muslim will provide their qurbani. And we can't imagine how much blessing and reward is in that qurbani. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Qurbani falls in a place to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala before the blood of it reaches the soil. Before the blood, when you slaughter it or someone slaughter on your behalf, your Qurbani, before the blood reaches the earth, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala get your taqwa, the blessings. You get the blessings from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. لَنْ يَنَالَ اللَّهِ لُحُومُهَا وَلَا دِمَاؤُهَا Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala said, Allah doesn't get the blood, it doesn't, doesn't get the meat but he gets the taqwa, piety from you. So this is, and the best day, the best day in the eyes and the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the year is Yawm nahr the day of Qurbani. Why? Because of the sacrifice Muslim, the amount and number of sacrifice Muslim will provide on that day. So all these are very, very important actions we should keep in our mind to harvest these 10 days. Get ready for these 10 days by making strong plan, good plan, strong intention for repentance from all the sins. We are all human beings. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta. All the sons of Adam are bound to make mistakes. But who are the best of those? The best of the khatta'in, the best of those who make mistakes are those who make tawbah, those who repent. So let us be prepared by repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having a plan to make use of these 10 days of Ramadan, of the, of the hijjah. And the value of these days, the ulama said, is because during these 10 days, you can perform all the type of ibadah that a Muslim can perform. The only season where you can perform all type of ibadah is these 10 days. Zikr, takbir, salah, zakah, sadaqah, siyam, hajj, and umrah. Besides the other small things that we, we do, I don't, I don't say small things, other valuable things that we do, dealing with our parents, dealing with our neighbors, bringing up our children. But our life, our life, brothers, is, is ibadah. Whatever we do with intention, good intention, sleeping is ibadah. Whatever we do is ibadah. Let's have the intention, good intention, an intention to repent, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to harvest this most important and valuable season. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه يا فوز المستغفرين. استغفر الله العظيم. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد 
كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك اللهم على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. My respected brothers and sisters in Islam. Conclusion of my khutbah is for us to have a plan to harvest the 10 days of the hijjah to the best possible uh, ability. Those who are going for hajj, remember they cannot fast the 9th of the hijjah because it is sunnah to stay non-fasting on that day because there are a lot of uh, efforts that need to be done on Arafah day. So the fasting is only for those who are not performing uh, hajj. Qurbani is an important sunnah, sunnah mu'akkada at least. So please be mindful of its value. All the deeds I have mentioned, no need to repeat again. I will leave you with this and hopefully we, if we get another chance to do another khutbah, I would like to go on the hajj uh, journey from Aberdeen to when back to Aberdeen, inshallah, if, if there is time or, or, or another chance. Uh, uh, today, in the last uh, couple of minutes, I just want to remind my brothers and sisters that tonight there will be a khutuf, moon eclipse, from about 9 o'clock. And it is sunnah during the eclipse to make special prayer uh, for the eclipse purposes or khusuf. And that prayer can be held in the mosque. That's the, uh, 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 the best uh, option, of course. Uh, so I'm sure the brothers will be organizing khusuf prayer in the mosque uh, uh, tonight. Khusuf will start from about 9 and uh, in UK, so it ends just after 10. So that time would be pray of time, uh, uh, time for prayer. Uh, just uh, to give a very quick idea about the khusuf prayer, the khusuf prayer is two raka'ah. You can, if you can't make it in the mosque, you can pray it at home. If you can't make it in the mosque, you can pray it on your own, because it's sunnah to pray it. Uh, it is two raka'ah. Uh, the sunnah is to read long surahs, if you can, and the first rak'ah consists of reading al-Fatiha and a long surah, and then make ruku. When you are up from ruku, you don't go back to sujood. No, you go up and read again al-Fatiha and another surah. So there are two ruku in the first rak'ah. Read al-Fatiha, surah, make ruku. Up from ruku, read al-Fatiha, surah, make ruku. And then you do the sujood to sajda as usual, and then up for the second rak'ah. Similarly, the second rak'ah is reading al-Fatiha and surah, make ruku'. Up after the, the first ruku', read al-Fatiha and surah again, and then make ruku', make sujood to sajda as usual, and then your tashahud and uh, end of uh, salah by salam. The sunnah is to have the reading long, ruku' long, sujood long, and all the aspects of the salah, slow salah, so that you comprehend and communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your ruku', communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your sujood, and make sure that you are doing it with concentration, not just to look, waiting for the imam, if you are praying in jama'ah to, to say Allahu Akbar, or sometimes you feel, what, the, what is he saying, I'm not saying. Just connect with your, with, between yourself and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and follow the imam as, as things go, and try to pray the prayer, it is sunnah, if you do it, once or twice or three, it uh, depends on how many times the, the khusuf or the khusuf will happen. If you do it in your life, you are reviving a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma anfa'na bima allamtana wa allimna ma yanfa'na. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina azab al-nar. Rabbana aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna ala al-qawm al-kafirin. اللهم وفقنا لما, لما تحب وترضى وخذ بنواصينا إلى البر والتقوى اللهم وفقنا لما فيه رضاك واغننا ربنا عن كل شيء سواك اللهم اغفر لوالدينا ووالديهم ومشايخنا ومن له حق علينا اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات 
اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقم الصلاة